Sir, please start the session. And I think a mic is on mute. Thank you. Thank you, Diksha. We are all for welcoming in this session. Our topic is, I'm start my screen sharing. Today we are going to learn understanding ebooks types and its possibilities. Let's start our session. Welcome here. The first question is what are the ebooks? Ebooks e ebooks or digital version of the printed textbook can be read on various electronic devices like computers, tablets, e readers, and smartphones. They replicate the traditional reading experience while offering advantages such as portability, convenience, and accessibility. Available in the formats like PDF, EPUB, and Mobi, ebooks can contain text, images, and interactive elements. Their popularity stems from easy access, the ability to carry entire libraries, and the customizable reading preferences, revolutionizing the way people access literature and educational contents. Benefits of the ebook portability. The first feature is portability. Ebooks can be accessed on the various devices, enabling readers to carry a vast library with them. Second, second point is accessibility. Ebooks grant access to a wide range of literature, including rare and the out of print books. They also offer features like adjustable fonts for the better accessibility. And the third point is cost effectiveness. Ebooks are cheaper, eliminating printing and distribution cost. They can be easily updated and distributed without reprinting. And the fourth point is searchability and interactivity. We can search any text on on by typing it on the keyboard your mobile devices according to your devices ebook have search functions and interactivity features like hyperlinks and multimedia enhancing the reading experiences and the next point is environment friendly ebooks reduce the resource consumption and envi environmental impact by eliminating the need for the paper and the physical distribution the sixth point is convenience ebooks can be instantly purchased and downloaded offering immediate access without the need for the physical stores or shipping. The seventh point is space saving. Ebooks requires no physical storage, making them ideal for those with the limited space and reducing clutter. The eighth point is customizability. Some ebooks readers offer customizable options like adjusting font, highlighting, and annoting, allowing readers to personalize their experiences. The next slide is how many types of ebooks? How many types of ebooks we are using are the six types of ebooks of the first book is PDF ebook. Portable doc PDF stands for the portable documents format ebooks. Closely resemble the layout of a printed textbook and are commonly used for the documents, manuals, and materials that require a fixed layout. PDF ebooks are easily accessible on various devices and they retain the conformating and design of the original documents, making them ideal for the textbook and the document with the complex layouts. And the next point is next type of ebooks, EPUB, electronic publication, is one of the most, most common ebook formats. EPUB are highly flexible and can adjust their layout to fit different screen sizes, making them compatible with a wide range of e-readers, tablets, smartphones. They support features such as resizable text, adjustable font styles, and the dynamic content, making them suitable for the various genres, including fiction, non-fiction, and academic publications. The next type of ebooks, Mobi ebooks. Mobi Pocket ebooks e are primarily used by Amazon's Kindle devices. They support features similar to the ePubs, such as adjust adjustable text and font sizes. Mobi ebooks are widely used for the commercial ebooks and send self-published works available through the Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing Platform, KDP. Fourth point is 
Fourth type of e-books, interactive e-books. Interactive e-books offers a more engaging reading experience by incorporating multimedia elements such as audio, video, and interactive graphics. These e-books are often used, oftenly used in educational materials, children's books, high and digital learning resources to enhance reader engagement and understanding. The next type of enhanced e-books. Enhanced e-books combine traditional text with the multimedia elements such as audio and video to create a more immersive reading experiences. They often include additional features like pop-up, annotations, embedded links, and interactive elements, catering to the various learning styles and preferences. And the sixth one is fixed layout. Ebooks. Fixed layout ebooks are similar to the PDF ebooks in they, that they preserve that exact layout and design of the print version. They are commonly used for the graphic intensive publications such as comic books, children's books, and the illustrated guides where maintain the original layout is essential to the reading experience. NCRT uses the three types of ebooks the portable document format PDF. And the second one is flipbook, and third one is electronic publication ebooks. Uh, PDF uh, NCRT has a PDF on NCRT websites. Flipbook flipbooks uh, NCRT has their flipbooks on the ePartshala ePartshala portals, and the ePub format is available on the ePartshala mobile apps. What is the digitization of the textbooks? Digitization of the textbook refers to the process of converting digital print, digital transitional print textbook into digital formats that can be accessed and read on electronic devices such as computers, tablets, e-readers, and smartphones. It involves transforming the content layout and features of the printed textbook into a digital version that can be viewed and interacted with the electronically. What is the flipbook? Flipbook is an interactive online HTML5 publication that has the look and feel of a real page turning publications, complete, complete with page turning sound effects, page shadows, and more. Flipbooks are currently used for uh, the. Sir? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, some of the participants are saying that you are going too fast. So I request you to go a little slow. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sorry for the disturbance. We are discussing on what is the flipbook. A flipbook is an interactive online HTML5 publication that has the look and feel of a real page turning publications, complete with the page turning sound effects, page shadows, and more. Flipbooks are currently used to replace conventional digital PDFs and paper based documents such as reports, presentations magazines, catalogs, brochures, books, and more. A digital flipbook looks and feels exactly like a printed publication with the pages that can be flipped and turned without the cost of the printing. What is EPUB 3? EPUB 3 is, stands for the electronic publication version 3 is a standard format for the digital publications and ebooks. It is the latest version of the EPUB standard developed by the International Digital Publication Form, IDPF, and was introduced first in 2011. EPUB 3 is designed to provide a flexible and the feature-rich platform for creating and distributing electronic publications. 
It offers several enhancements over previous versions, allowing for more interactive and multimedia rich content. Why do we need EPUB? The next question is arises us. Why do we need EPUB? Cross platform, the first point is cross platform compatibility. EPUB files are compatible with a variety of devices, including e-readers, tablets, smartphones, and the computers. EPUBs works on the different operating system and can be read using various softwares and apps. This cross-platform compatibility ensures that digital publications can reach a wide audience and can be accessed on the different devices. Reflowable content. Next point is EPUB allows for the reflowable text, meaning the content can be adapted and adjust to the different screen sizes and the font settings. This ensures that Readers can adjust the font size, switch between the portrait and the landscape orientations, and customize the reading experiences to their preferences. Reflowable content enhances readability and accessibility, particularly for the people with visually impairments or reading difficulties. The next point is interactive features. EPUB supports the interactive elements such as hyperlinks, media content, video, audio, quizzes, and interactive exercises. These features enable publishers to create engaging and interactive reading experiences. Interactive elements can enhance learning materials, provide additional context, and promote active participation from the readers. The next point is accessibility. Accessibility incorporates accessibility feature to make digital publications more inclusive. These features include adjustable font sizes, compatibility with screen readers, support for the alternative text for images, and text to speech functionality. EPUB's accessibility features ensures that individuals with visually impairments or reading difficult disabilities can access and engage with the content. The fifth point is enhanced design and style sheet. EPUB support the basket style sheets, which enables publishers to apply advanced styling and layout options. This allows for more visually appealing and professional looking digital publications. EPUB's design capabilities enable the creation of the aesthetically pleasing ebooks, textbooks, and other digital materials. The next point is dynamic update and revisions. EPUB allows for the easy update and revisions of the digital publications. Publishers can modify and update the content of the EPUB files, ensuring that ensuring the readers have access to the most current and accurate information. This is particularly valuable for the textbooks and educational materials that may require regular updates to reflect new research, revised curriculum, or changes in the information. The next point is cost-effective distribution. EPUB offers a cost-effective distribution model for the digital publications. EPUB files can be easily distributed and shared electro electronically, eliminating the need for the physical printing and distribution cost. This makes it easier for authors, publishers, and educators to reach a global audience without incurring significant expenses. The next point is environment sustainability. By embracing EPUB, we can reduce the consumption of the power, paper, and the contribute of the environmental sustainability. Digital publications eliminate the need for printing and shipping physical books, reducing the carbon footprints associated with the publishing industries. The next slide is the key difference between the EPUB and the PDF. The content reflow ability, EPUB supports the part design for the reflowable content, meaning the text and the layout to, to different screen sizes, the font settings, EPUB allows reader to adjust font sizes, switches between the portrait and landscape orientation and customizing the reading experience. Whereas the PDF has files have fixed layout, Whereas the PDF files have fixed layout that maintain the precise positioning of the textbook, images, and other elements. 
PDF are typically designed to replicate the original printed document appearances. The next point is interactivity and multimedia. EPUB supports interactive elements such as hyperlinks, multimedia contents, video, audio, interactive quizzes, and the embedded scripts. EPUB provides a more engaging and interactive reading experiences, especially for the textbook and ebooks with the interactive features. PDF can include hyperlinks and multimedia content. With interactive capabilities, are more limited compared to EPUB. The next point is accessibility features. The EPUB has built-in accessibility features such as adjustable font sizes. We can adjust uh, font sizes according to our needs, text to speech functionality, compatibility with the screen readers, and supports for the alternative text, or it is called the alt text for the images. The features ensures that EPUB files are more accessible to individuals with the visually impaired or reading difficulties. Whereas the PDF can be made accessible, but it often requires additional steps and may have limitations in terms of the flexibility and compatibility with the accessibility tools. The layout and designs. The next point is layout and designs, EPUB. EPUB offers more flexibility in terms of the layout and design. It can handle complex pages, structures, responsive designs, and supports the cascade style sheets for the advanced styling. styling. EPUB is well suited for the ebooks and publications with dynamic layouts such as textbooks, novels. Whereas the PDF, on the other hand, preserves the exact layout of the original document, including fonts, images, formatting PDF is often used for the document where maintaining the visual integrity of the original layout is crucial such as official forms, legal documents and brochures. The next device compatibility. EPUB files are designed to be compatible with a wide range of devices, including e-readers, tablets, smartphones, and desktop and co computers. EPUB is supported by the various reading applications and the platform, whereas the PDF files are also widely supported across the devices and the platform. But certain devices or the applications may have limitations in terms of the displaying or interacting with the PDFs. Editing and authoring. The next point is EPUB files can be easily created and edited using various software tools EPUB authoring tools provide features for the content creation, editing, and formatting. PDF, on the other hand, is preliminarily used for the preserving and sharing documents in a read-only format. Whereas the PDF editing PDFs typically requires the specialized software, Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat Pro, just like, and the process is more involved compared to editing EPUB files. We used for creation the sigil software for the EPUB creation. This is the symbol of the EPUB sigil software. This is the open source uh, software. We can easily download from the Google. Just type the sigil editor and it, it is open and free of use. This is the user UI. This is the UI of the sigil softwares. There is the directories. Here is the left hand side is the four folders is mentioning, and the top has the menus, the sigil files, edit, insert, format, options, search tools, provides the editing softwares, uh, hypertext, uh, bullet, underlines, and the text alignment, right, left line, center line, and the bullet text things. Uh, and the left hand side contains the four folders. The first one is text folders. The second one is styles and fourth, third one is images. Fourth one is fonts and audios and video and miss. The sigil software, the first we have to implement and create the HTML files, which is contain the text format. 
and we have to design it the official side with our we need to create the cascade style sheets where we put where we will put our designs in the cascade style sheets and all required images in the contain the images folders and if we use what which fonts we are using contain the in folder of the fonts if we are using the audio files we have to insert into the audio folders and similarly the video files we have to insert in the video folders and miscellaneous content comes will be on the miscellaneous folders this is the code view and this is the preview chapter 1 down the rabbit hole the next one ebooks available on the following places ncert official websites have the pdf versions are available diksha portals and mobile apps have the ebooks e resources with energized textbooks and the e pathshala mobile app and e pathshala portals websites contain the flipbook and the ebook formats are available energized textbook the next screenshot next slide is, is uh, energized textbook energized textbook refers to the textbook that incorporate dynamic interactive or multimedia elements to make the learning experiences more engaging and effective these elements can include features such as embedded videos interactive quizzes simulations and other digital enhancements that are designed to enrich the learning process and make it more interactive and immersive qr code what is qr code qr code is based on the quick response code is a two dimensional barcode that is readable by the smartphone a static qr code encode the content directly in the images itself you can think of them like regular printed text just represented in the different ways that means you can't update the content once generated because the content is directly encoded in the image they also grow in the size with the amount of the content they store the next slide is steps to generate qr code by the google sheets firstly we need to create uh, to follow these steps we need to have we have to create on a gmail accounts and firstly we need to create in the google sheets our four columns the name mention name the domain url code complete url and the qr code on a google sheet and the step 2 domain url mein hum log ko we have to write domain url domain names we have to base url of e pathshala dot nic dot in and the code we have the uniquely identified every chapters by the code as like the 106 code ch01 it is represent the mathematic books of the chapter 1 the next step complete the url we have to concatenate the domain url with the code and after the qr ic kit which is provide the application programming interface for generating the qr code we have to add with our google sheets to generate the qr codes the firstly i have created this so right now we are going to creating we are going to create the qr codes how can we create a qr code from the google sheets by using the qr ic kit qr ic kit is your ic kit is a open source platform where we where it is provide us to creating the qr code facility we have integrated its api with our google sheets and generated the qr code we are going to creating the qr code by using the google sheets we have to open it the drive and 
click on the new buttons and choose the Google Sheets. You have to mention according to the our slides. Yeah, first we have to create the four columns. In the domain first one is the domain URL code, complete URL, and the QR code. Just mentioning writing here the domain URL. And the second one is code. The third one is complete URL. And the fourth one is QR code. The first step is copy the domain URL. We are using our base domain URL, kpartshalad.nic.in. You can use your domain URL according to your websites and domains. And we have uh, and the next point is we have a unique identify a unique code of which is identify the mathematics book of chapter one. You can design a uniquely identify. You can provide any code to your chapters, your state books, and any things you can write here according to the uniquely identification. And the third step, we have to concatenate both URLs with the domain URL and the code. Just copy it here. And paste. And it is created or it is auto created the complete URL, the domain URL and the code. The complete URL is defined as the as three part shala dot nic dot in qr slash question mark id is equals to 1064 says 01 and the fourth is and final step is we have to copy it from the fair this is the application programming interface from the qr ic kit that is also available open and free use online portals just paste there and it is it will create automatically the QR code. If we need to create one more QR code, and if we have 10 chapters in your on our books, we have to create in the 10 chapters according to the chapter wise. Then simply the next step is just simply drag it on the 10th. And the next one is an auto kit and just simply drag it. And it will create auto fill automatically. And the third step, we have to drag it only. It will create the complete URL automatically. And the third, fourth, final, and yeah, here we have to just drag it. And the QR ticket is auto created the all QR code according to our chapters. We have created the chapter one QR code. I'll resize it. Here. These are our QR, newly generated QR code with the QRIC kit and uni, uniform resource locators with captioning the chapter name, the chapter one, CH1, this is for the chapter two, chapter three, and the chapter four, and so on. We will create 
thousands of thousands QR code by just dragging and dragging it. And the next step is we have downloaded it on the click on file, choose download as PDF. And click on export. This is our file, which is down exported from the Google Sheets in the PDF format. We have all QR codes, which is created by us. We have, we have to export it, extract from it using the online PDF to image. Just choose here. Browser downloaded PDF. Close and open. Click on extract images and convert to the JPG. This open, this online platform creates our the images. You have to just download it. Click on open. Here is our newly generated QR codes in the zip format. We have to extract it. Click on extract all. Choose where you want to extract it. Click on desktop. Select any folders. We have the QR codes. Just choose and select folders and click OK and click on extract. These are these are our newly generated QR code, which is created by the QRI secrets using an application programming interface and the integration with the Google API, open with the photos. Yeah, this is the for chapter one. It is represent the chapter one. It is represent the chapter two. And chapter three, we have created the chapter one to form the chapter 10. Diksha and mobile app. The next slide is Diksha and the e Shala mobile app. You can accessible access it from the Google stores. It is available on there. Thank you. Doubts and questions, please. Uh, yeah, one of the question asked in the chat box is what is complete URL? Am I on Simple, they say, 10 is to wear up to 10. But they say, fill the regular 10. Am I holding it? It's active. 
So next, uh, am I audible? We now Please need tell. technologies for the uh, cat. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. So, yes, yeah. There are some questions asked in the chat box. So, one of the questions asked is, uh, what is complete URL? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you can download the app, PMP with the And also app. how to create a QR code. Uh, so we have already downloaded this app. I'm just linking it. So sir is uh, giving response in the chat box itself. You can see that uh, Sir Man sir has mentioned After? steps okay. that uh, how you yeah, can just select the class. Right, sir. Uh, uh, how you can proceed with the uh, yeah. questions you have asked. So, you can go through the answer which is given in the chat box. Yes. The app is PM Vidya. Any other query? Class 10. It is only for size. Like chapter, chapter 1. Kindly send the thing for downloading the app. The number. Like you may have NCRT. Which app? 1.1. No lag. Yes, definitely all the presentations will be shared with all of you and they will be available on CIT website as well. We have a web page for SRG workshop and on that web page we provide presentations and videos as well. So do not worry about that. You will get presentations and video for each and every session. Change taste space. Oh, oh, the 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 Maybe there must be some technical issues, and that's why he is not able to unmute or switch on the video. So, what we can do is we can continue with the next session. But before that, I would like to thank Mohammed Salman sir for giving us information regarding e-books, e-books. So we have to take on. Hello, ma'am. Magnesium yes, girls do use no, speaking in your presentation room. Uh, no, sir, actually, no one is speaking. Uh, as I told earlier, also, visitors keep on visiting uh, at the place where, our, where we work. So, uh, we are uh, demonstrating. The other team members are demonstrating side by side. This workshop is also going. So, that's why you may hear.